We're at the World of Concrete for 2024. We're in the DeWalt booth with Chris, and he's setting up for us right now. What do we have? We have the brand new 42 pound. This is amazing. It's a brand new 966, 42 pound, inch and an eighth hex breaker. Wow. Ground up design, something totally new for us. So much technology built, but you know, we wanted to start with something simple, something a pain point the users have had. So let me show you. Right here. When you would change a bit in the past, I'm sure you've done it, you've been in construction for a long time, yep. you have to get that jaw and bend it and get a hammer and bang your fingers and oh, it's such a pain. Pretty much. With our pin and collar system, you pull it out, you drop it in, that's it. No more jaw, no more anything. This is the technology that we built, but we wanted to start at a point that just really drove our users crazy. Yeah, because nothing slows down the job more than having to change out implements or accessories. It's a pain, that is great. It's a pain. Now, yes. wireless tool control. Okay, so we're operating our vac. We're operating our vac wirelessly. When we push the new push through trigger design, it's gonna, it's gonna activate your vac, dust control, OSHA compliant. Like it's, it's perfect. Long time before service life on this. Eliminate, we have a decoupled mechanism. Users are going to work hard without being worked hard. That's good. Very important, very important. But I want to show you something that is best in class, new in class, first from DeWalt. A center auxiliary handle. No, That's I mean, I listen, not all of us are from warm, sunny beach places. Some of us, this is true. Philadelphia, it's cold, yeah. frozen it can, soil. It can be. Yeah, it can be. So what we do is we have a one handle bolt through design, and I'm gonna remove this handle. It have onboard storage here for the hex key that you can see that. That's good. If you can see my right hand here, I'm grabbing a top handle. No one else has a top handle as well. You can put this shovel attachment in That's here. That's pretty cool, dude. You get it close to your hip, and now you can turn this into a powdered power digger. Yeah. So that frozen soil, the tough, tough, tough Texas soil, you know, you have a pipe burst and you, that excavator can't get so close to that. Yeah. So this body is about the average width of an excavator mini X bucket. Bucket, yeah. So when you can't get that close, take these handles off and now you can finish that digging project right there. That's great. Well, the great thing about this though, yeah. is the performance. You wanna see it? Let's go. I wanna see it. Let's go. It's just a workhorse. Do you know what I find amazing though? Is that it's running on a battery. We're talking about a breaker of this size running on a battery. Right. I wouldn't even consider running a half inch drill 10 years ago. It's in mission critical applications. And the great thing about this is with the 615, is a lot of thermal technology built in. Yeah. So you're gonna avoid the traditional hot pack issues where there might be some charge left in the battery. Sure. But it's hot, so it stops. Now, very good for the trades. What we recommend though for our concrete and demo users is the corded version. I think we, we've seen this one before. No. No. Same mechanism. It's new. Same mechanism. Concrete and demo guys, you need that run time, you're going all day. We have a corded user, but what's great about this is, you see these T25 screws? Yes. We're not in the cord business, neither are you. So if it gets cut, chipped, damaged, to keep you compliant, open this panel. Replace the cord. Any 12-3 cord. Are you serious? Replace it. I'm not in the business of selling cords. Guess I'm in what? the business of keeping you productive. Just like Ricky said, you're not worried about selling um, for, for the, the power screen, the bars. We don't care. I, I like it. Oh my God. This, this is awesome. It looks awesome. This is awesome. This is our 27 pound inline SDS Max, which is important. There's a big competitor that sells proprietary chisels. Okay. We have the SDS Max tool holder. So whether it's a world's best DeWalt Elite Carbide Chisel or another manufacturer, as long as it's SDS Max, right. it works. It will fit here. That's right. Gotcha. We're all about whatever you have working with our product. We went through about 22 different designs. 
just to get this rear handle comfortable. Okay. This hammer is designed to be used in a horizontal yeah. or two-handed vertical operation. You're chipping at a wall, you're chipping out a drain, you're chipping out a pipe channel. This has the solution for you. It's optimized with a brand new brushless motor technology, brushless motor in our uh, DC or cordless version, and then brushless motor in our AC version as well. Okay. Same 27 joules of impact energy. So you get it's, the same energy. It's about as strong as I can make it without shearing chisels off. Okay, that makes sense. Absolutely powerful. You have a push through trigger design here. When you push it in, it's gonna start. When you push it back the other way, it'll stop. So we're just gonna break off this edge. Yeah, just just push, break it, break it. We're here in the world of concrete Dude, to break stuff, to make this noise. Thing is not, this thing's not heavy. No. One cool thing about this uh -huh. is this is a really aggressive hammer, but sometimes you don't need aggression, right? Okay. So we put a power tool reduction slider on here. So when you pull it, you'll hear the motor turn down. Sometimes, instead of the demo hammer, you need a scalpel. Sure. That's what that's for. Those those edges around your saw cut joint, yeah, yeah. it's perfect for that. That's pretty awesome. This is pretty, it's, ba it's balanced. I, I assume that you've just done a good job of balancing this because, I, I mean, what's the weight on it? it, it it's it's got to be heavy, it's, but it don't feel it, heavy, is my point. It's about 27 pounds. Feel free to go and chip the wall. You'll feel how simple it is. It's okay. <laughs> I trust you. So for a long time, we've had the 690. We reintroduced it with the bigger cap to accommodate the uh, 15 amp hour battery, right? Yep. But everybody was asking me, hey, why in the world do you have wireless tool control on it? You can't use a vacuum. Yeah. Well, we don't sleep much. And we had had this product in design for a minute. So this is the DCE 6820 water tank. When paired, it will remotely activate it so the water will start coming on yes. and it'll turn off when you let the trigger go. So let me show you how this works real fast. It's gonna pump it. As you can see, it's rolling. And then in five, four, three, two, Boom, one, it's off. it's off. You're not wasting water. You're not creating more slurry than you really need. Yeah. It just keeps you activated. Let me cut real fast and show you how well this use. So as you can see, if I'm a plumber and I gotta be inside, but keep my mess down, this is perfect. Yeah. Not to mention, water with your diamond blades, you're gonna keep it cool and last longer. It's and an awesome literally, solution. It's a, I'm really impressed at how fast it was cutting as well. No stall. When you do, we have an indicator light here. Okay. And it'll let you know when there's a high stress on the motor. Just yeah. back off, let the saw do its work. Sure, yeah, that's Let awesome. the saw do its work. Garden hose connection, if you have a 14 inch cutoff or, or a different type of saw, may not use the wireless tool control, but you can just turn it on and off there. Beautiful. Work perfect. This battery, the 615, it's gonna give you two to three more percent, I mean two to three more time to run time. Yeah. So you're, you're cutting the cord now. You I don't know. need a cord with these rotary hammers. As you can see, we redesigned, redesigned these lines. You have a double rail design. So. When we say guaranteed tough at the wall, we mean it. Magicians are everywhere in Vegas. Let me show you something. Vince, hold your hands out. Now look at these. Okay. I want you to be honest. Tell me what you think. What's the weight difference? I can't tell. It's not that much. I really honestly can't tell. It's not that much. It's, again. it's a bigger, different hands. Yeah. You can tell it's not much. It's not much. It is about a pound, but the footprint, as you can see, is much greater. However, a lot of thermal technology built in here to extend your runtime to keep you working. Can I run it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh. 
Hey, let's go get one. No, let's go. Dude, it just... There's just... I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, It feels like a locomotive. So, it's just no stall and it just keeps cutting away. What's really important though is when you use our hollow bed and our vac to keep you OSHA compliant and the DCV105 behind you, yeah. you don't have to clean your holes out anymore. You drill, it'll clean out, and you fill it with Pure 220 and you walk away. My friends, my colleagues, we always thought of like the wall as they're known for their salts. The wall was always our, our salt company, right? But then when we started using the rotary hammers, it was it was a sh like a shock how well they're made, how quickly they work, and how little vibration and just I guess it's well, once again like thoughtfulness into the user, the safety, the fatigue element. If they're just well -bit built tools, it's just like your video you had what two years ago, I think where was. you had a corded hammer, maybe it was a competitive hammer, but you had the bucket of concrete, yeah. and you were using the Dewalt T handle, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and you were drilling through, and you're like, wow, yeah. I'm amazed. Well. Part of that is performance, but part of that is ergonomics. Sure. And you've got to have a good user experience. That is awesome, brother. Thank, Thank you. you.